Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for Project Polish. Before I do, sorry for like the mismatching purple. It's what I have on and I'm not in the mood to go change. It's all about the purple today. This is actually a hand knit sweater. So I have some fun updates regarding this project. Before I move on, this project is a way for me to work through my polish collection. And my goal is really just to use each polish five times and then roll it out of the project. I have nine different color categories and they are red, burgundy, pink, purple, blue, green, black, white, multi-chrome, topper, and glitter. So I, what I do is I go into my drawer and I like hand pick randomly a color to a polish to replace one that I'm rolling out. I actually have five polishes I can roll out this month. Now some of these I had already rolled in extra colors for last update because I was so close to meeting my goal on them. So I'm not rolling in five new polishes. I'm actually only rolling in two, but I do have five that I can share are rolling out. So the first one, this was for my pink color category and this is by Color Club. It's the shade right on. So here's this one. Of course, this is so such a summer shade and definitely not for this time of year since we're in October. But I really did. I, I love that color. I've worn it a lot in the past. And here it is on my color wheel. It's beautiful, beautiful. The next polish I can roll out is the black white category. And I have from different dimensions the shade is either Get Busy Living or Get Busy Dying. This is actually what I'm wearing on my nails now, as you can see. But this polish is really pretty. It's like this gray base with pink to green iridescent flakies. I love this one. It's so interesting. So of course, on all of these, I met, with the, I met the five use goal on them. Okay, the next one I can roll out is uh, my topper. And that, what I rolled in for that is the Six Hearts Polish and the shade is Moon Shadow. This was an Etsy seller from a way back when. I don't think they're around anymore, but yeah, this is the polish here. This is really pretty. It was a great topper. And on my color wheel, it was this one right here. So it's a very, I, I did put it over the tip there is black, but it's a very like light, faint wash of color. It's really pretty. I'm actually wearing this on my toes right now on top of this red and it just made a really beautiful like purple, bur like purple leaning burgundy. It's really pretty. So anyway, that one can roll out and I forgot to put an X on this one indicating that I have met my goal. So let me do that. Now, the next one I have is the purple category. This is by Different Dimensions as well. Look at this gorgeous polish. This is the shade Tulips Are Better Than One, and Tulips is spelled like the flower. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this one. So great. That is this shade on my color wheel. Oh, my God, I love that one. And the last one I can roll out is a red polish. This is by Picture Polish and it's the shade Dorothy. So it's much more of a summer like cherry red and it's very glitter heavy. It's got those silver glitters in there. And that one is this color on my color wheel or swatch, you know what I mean? So those are the five polishes that I can roll out. Now, let me share with you the ones I'm still working on. I currently have, what, eight here? Eight. And I have eight because I have one bonus versus seven. But let me share with you from the top, my red polish is by Colors by LaRoe and the shade is Pirates of Penzance. It's another one of those kind of red holographic polishes. The holo on this is very, very faint. This was kind of way before holographic nail polish was, you know, at where it is now. And that is this shade on my color wheel. So much more interesting than a flat cream red, in my opinion, but still compared to a lot of the red or like the holographic polishes now, it's pretty light. <laughs> Just a little, adds a little bit of interest. 
My burgundy polish is by Models Own. This is the shade Magenta Pearl. This one is really pretty. I do enjoy this color quite a bit. It's also a great base to like put toppers on or glitters, what have you. And that one is this shade on my color wheel. It's a nice formula. I do enjoy that one. My purple polish is by Garden Path Lacquers. This is the shade Take Me to the Sky. Oh, I didn't have not been telling you how many times I've used these. <laughs> Whoops. So that's this one. I freaking love this one. It's so pretty. Here it is on my color wheel. I think it's great for right now. Oh, I love it. I'm going to be going vampy here in the next couple of months. So the Pirates of Penzance, I've just used once. Like I said, it's currently on my toes. The Models on Magenta Pearl, I've used twice. And I rolled this one I've had in for a month. And then the Garden Path Lacquers, I've used twice. So my blue-green polish is by Zoya. This is the shade Robin. And this is a, it's a beautiful cream shade. I think I need to bring in... And I did grab one, a multi-chrome to go on top of this or something because it's a little bit, it's kind of like that summer to fall, but I feel like we're already past this, this color for the season. Like I don't really want to wear it, but I rolled it into the project. So I'm going to find a way. So I figured I would use it as a base for some other like polishes that I have in my collection. So I may roll, like, like bring in a couple of things just to play with. My black white polish is by Color Club. This is the shade Harp on it. And this is a holo, again, kind of early in the holographic polish world. But it does have, it's probably hard to see it, but it does have a shift. You know, a holo spectrum. Where is it? It's on my other color wheel. And I accidentally dented this one in, whenever I swatched it last time, but there's the shade. You can kind of see some of that, maybe the holograph, the holo. <laughs> it's pretty. It's just subtle. My multi-chrome is by Picture Polish. This is the shade Desire. And this is a slight multi-chrome. I could probably end up putting this in my burgundy drawer, to be honest. And I may recategorize it. It's like a purple leaning burgundy, but it's still, I mean, it could go into either drawer, but I have a lot of purple polishes. <laughs> okay, I forgot, again, I forgot to mention. This one I have not used yet, the harp on it. Here is the picture polish. You can see it's pretty opaque on its own, but I did add black to the tip of the swatch. So you could see the difference, but I don't usually put, put it over black. I just wear it on its own. So far I've worn that one once. Now I did have two polishes that I brought in as toppers. I don't know why I brought in two pinks. What was I thinking last month? The first one is by Zoya. This is the shade Binks and I just I have three uses on this one so I just need to use it two more times. I it's much more of a spring color but I think if you put it over a darker color it may provide some something interesting so I'll see what that looks like here is my swatch of Binks now that one I've actually used <laughs> I've used Binks I think three times yeah three times and this is actually my bonus topper and I've used it the most my other topper is by fun lacquer this is the shade pinky promise And this one I have not used yet, but it is this shade on my color wheel. And I think it's sheer enough to where I can top it over the blue. I can put it over the purple. I can, it, it can be used in a ver, ver, like a variety of ways. So I have, but I haven't played with it yet. So those are the polishes I was working on. So I am rolling in two new polishes. The first one is my pink polish. Now, this will be interesting if I end up keeping this one. This is by Revlon. The shade is Berry Chic Crystal. 
Again, I randomly went into my drawer and picked this one. I was like, okay, well, I can do that one for fall. It's not as dark as I want it to be. So I, I may try it over black just to see what happens. But it's that one out there on the color wheel. And I have a lot of vampy colors. But in pink, I don't. I have more... Pink is hard to do in a dark shade. So rolling that one in. And then the, my topper is going to be this polish by Ninja Polish. And the shade is Chameleon. I remember whenever these were all the rage. I mean, like, probably a decade ago. I don't know if it's been that long, but it's a long time ago. So here it is on my color wheel. Now, I do have this side that actually has a little bit of a, a, a kind of coated that side a little bit more it does have a multi-chrome shift i don't know if it's going to be visible on camera i don't know i don't know if you can see it so those are the polish two polishes that i'm rolling in i would um, let me just look to see what I can potentially get out for next month. I would love to get out either the burgundy and or the purple. And I really need to work on the blue. So I think these are my, and then this one banks. <laughs> Those are my four that I'm going to try to hit my five uses on in the next month. I actually had one polish that lasted a full week and I couldn't believe it but it was garden path lacquers and then I actually used this color club as a base for my ring finger nail and then topped it with binks and it literally lasted an entire week with like almost no chipping I usually change my polishes a lot more frequently than that just because I get bored, but I just, I didn't have time that week and I literally, I, I wore it from set Sunday to Sunday. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.